guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing a new palette that I've had. Okay, let's be honest. It's not a new, new palette, but it's a palette that I have yet to try, let's say it that way. Um, and I did get this in one of my recent TJ Maxx Marshall hauls. No, it wasn't the one I just filmed for you guys, but it was from the prior one. I just haven't had time with school and work and everything else going on in my life right now and trying to move. I haven't had time to film all of them for you. So I'm finally getting to that before I get to the new products that I just filmed for you. So if you want to see the ones I just showed you, hold tight. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them because they will be coming up. So what I'm going to be actually reviewing today for you guys is the Makeup Revolution Stripped and Bare Palette. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. It's really cute. Again, it was like $4 or something. Um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls have really had a lot of Makeup Revolution products lately for really, you know, very little. Um, there's a really affordable brand as it is that you can get at Ulta, but beyond that, you get them for even less. A few dollars off at TJ Maxx, um, Marshalls, Home Goods, uh, Burlington Coat Factory, stores like that. And um, so this is one again I got a while back. So this is what it looks like on the um, outside of the actual packaging. It has the plastic container and one of these brushes that have the sponges on that I really just can't stand using. Um, and then this is the palette. So you do get a full size mirror in here. And then these are all of the shades that you do get. There are 16 shades in here and it looks like there are six mattes and 10 shimmers. So you do get a nice mix and you have different color stories. You have kind of an earth tone, smoky look going here. You have a little bit darker, your purples, and then you have your more neutral colors over here. Of course, it looks like you can mix and match all of them nicely. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids and let's start playing with some makeup. Okay, now that we're all zoomed in and primed, I'm going to first go in with this shade right here. Now these shades don't have names, so again, I'll just have to point to them. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and dust that all over my lid to set the primer. So it is, just so you guys know, coating my brush nicely. I know you can't see too much because it is such a soft shade, but a lot kind of comes off when you tap it off. So with these types of palettes, I love Makeup Revolution and I've liked a lot of their palettes. I'm in love with the Makeup Revolution Soph X collab palette that they did, but you just, because of the nature of it, they are a little bit drier, even though they are very pigmented. So just make sure you tap off the excess, otherwise you can get some clumping and nobody wants that. So then I'm going to go in with this kind of mauve pink shade from this side and I'm going to pop that, after each my nose, into the crease. So again, you can kind of see, I'm kind of tapping it off close to the camera so you can kind of see the film. Um, it does coat the brush nicely, but it does come off a lot as well. It is a really pretty shade, but it is a little bit sheer. So I'm just gonna kind of build this up to get the type of pigmentation that I want. But again, for $4, I'm not mad at it. Then I'm gonna go in with this center shade right here. It's this really pretty kind of almost gray brown shade. It's definitely more of a cool tone. I, I don't normally play with cool tones, but I think I'm gonna kind of go with it today and I'm just going to pop this on my outer V. So, so far, by the way, as I'm blending this out, the only shades I have used thus far are all mattes and they're really pretty and they're blending very nicely, but they're not very, very pigmented. So I am having to go through and build them up, which doesn't bother me, just creates a little bit more blending work. But I'm just saying if it's something for you guys, if your your thing is pigment and quick and easy, this might not be the best palette for you. But again, consider it's a drugstore palette. It was $4. Yeah, keep that in mind. So I do want to brighten this up 
look up a bit so then I'm going to go in with this pink shimmer shade right here and I'm going to without putting any concealer on first or wetting my brush I want to see how it performs without all of that I'm just going to take a flat brush and apply that on my eyelid just to see how the shimmers perform without any help Yeah, so they don't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush because I can already tell it's just sheer and almost more of a topper than a pigment. So let me go wet this and see if that makes a difference. That's better, but it's still more shimmer than it is actual pigment. So now let's try with the finger. It's better with a finger, but I just, I hate when you have to use it because your looks can just come out so messy because you can't just get super precise. Yeah, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I just kind of want to see if it'll make a difference. If I first go in with a shade, kind of like the center one, which is just a really pale shade, and apply that first where I want the shimmer, and see if that helps it kind of stick. So that's what I'm gonna try on the left side here. Nah, it's not really making that much of a difference. So that really didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but I'm just gonna move on here and I'm gonna go back in with the kind of gray brown shade here in the center and line my lower lash line. Also, I'm not sure if you guys can see, there is um, where the shimmer shade, it did create a lot of fallout on my face, so I'm just gonna dust that away. And I wanna show you guys the pan, um, so you can definitely kind of tell where I use the shades so you can see these two shades right here especially um, and a little bit here there's so there's a little bit of fallout in the pan but not a crap ton <laughs> um, there was some on my face though more so with the shimmer shades than the others um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eye look and I'll be right back for my final thoughts Okay, so I decided just to go with a simple look and just popped on a little bit of mascara so overall um, with this palette, again, keeping in mind the price because it's hard when you go from palettes that are $40 that have like amazing color payoff and blendability and all of that, and then you go to a $4 palette and you know, obviously the pigmentation isn't going to be quite there as much. The formula is going to be a little bit more dry, you know, so keeping all of that in mind, I would still say that it's a it's, it's okay. Like, um, I, you know, it's not one that I would say run out and go and buy it and get try to get your hands on it, but it's not one that I would just say, oh my God, stay away from. I'd give it probably three out of five stars. It's just okay. The mattes are very pretty. They blended very easily. Um, and when you, and they're very buildable, so you can get the color payoff that you want. The biggest downfall for me was the shimmer shade. And actually, as I'm sitting here doing my outro, I just realized I didn't do like a highlighter or the inner corner. And I want to do that real fast for you guys so hold on let me just do that so we can see how another shimmer shade just performs just in case it was that just that one so I'm gonna go in real fast with this kind of opal bright shade and highlight the inner corner okay I just wanted to do that real fast for you guys just again because I, my whole intention was to try and and do that so I you guys can see another shimmer shade and I will say um, that it was consistent I know I'm kind of zoomed out at this point so you can't really see but it was very consistent with the previous shimmer shade a little bit kind of choppy a little sheer but that was I think that was actually a little bit more buildable for me again that was a much smaller space than my full-on eyelid um, so I mean that's a little bit different but overall it's an okay palette and um, again the mattes were very pretty the shimmers struggled a little bit but you know 
if you're wanting just a little bit or like a topper, they would look really, really pretty as a topper because they are so pretty. And it's just a nice neutral palette. You get a little bit of variety. So it's a, a, um, a palette you could travel with. And honestly, if you travel with it, you're not going to be like super duper upset if it gets damaged because of, you know, the value that's there and the price of it all. So anyway, that's pretty much all of my thoughts for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you go so you don't miss out some of the new makeup and the new makeup revolution palettes that I got from my last TJ Maxx haul. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But until I can get that video out anymore. But until I can get any more videos out for you guys, again, thank you for watching. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.